at all of those great uh, historic brick buildings with all of those famous ads that were on the side. I guess the original billboards that have since faded. William Stage, longtime friend of the show, local gadfly. Good morning, William Stage. Local gadabout. Good morning. Uh, fading ads of St. Louis. First of all, where can we get the book and where's the book signings? You can get the book. I know right now it's only been out for a month. I know you can get it at Missouri Historical Society, Subterranean Books, the AIA Bookstore downtown on Washington, which is the Architectural Institute of America. And uh, probably Barnes & Noble. They should have it by now. All right, good. Now, uh, you've been known to write historical books about St. Louis and all these types of things. This book is lo- This book should have been done years ago, right, with all of these famous ads. How you, would you come up with the idea? Or tell us well, the- I did do a book years ago on these ads, but it wasn't local. This was a, na- a book that was national in scope, uh, Okay. primarily the Midwest and the East Coast and the South. Now this one here is just St. Louis metro area. How did you and, how did you choose to pick which ones? Because it seems like every building you pass has a faded sign on well, it. Well, um, some of them are far more interesting than others. Okay. You know, if if they're culturally significant or if they have uh, a, a, some of them are just letters, uh, words, and some of them have graphics. Like there's one in here called Blanky's Coffee, and it has a really nice rendering of Mephistopheles, the devil, because you know, it's, it was B- Blanky's Faust blend coffee, and it's the Mephistopheles is on the on the actual brick wall, painted on the brick wall. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was like crickets you're when you were You're way too smart to for the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blanky's was a coffee from uh, the late 1800s to early 1900s, and I found a wall in Wellston that had it. That, that had been up there many, many years. It was protected from the elements because it was, you know, some of them are more protected than others. If, if they happen to face north, for instance, right, then they're they're more protected than one that faces east, west, or south. Sure, that that makes sense. Was there? These were the original billboards, right? Yeah, you could say that. Sure. The, uh, in fact, billboards definitely replaced them. Right. Mm. Uh, and you, I love in the book fading ads of St. Louis. You also show that there are still people drawing and painting on walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, but not quite as much. But uh, there, uh, Phil Jarvis is one, Lonnie Tedditon. Uh, he he was the maestro in St. Louis. He's kind of out of commission right now. Right. But uh, he, for 50, 60 years. And uh, Grace, Grace McCamron. Are any of these billboards or any of these buildings protected historically because of the ad on the side? I doubt it. I don't think so. So, so, so no one's taken the the effort to sort of save some of these buildings. No, the, the, well, yeah, ph- photographically, that's how we do it. But uh, you know, there are um, urban planning commissions that take these signs into consideration. But as far as uh, saving a building because of what was painted on it by a by a journeyman sign painter 80 years ago, no, I don't think so. It's kind of it's kind of what, sad. What's it is sad? What is the most interesting ad or shocking ad that you've it's discovered? And you're like, they did an ad about this. <laughs> well, shocking, I don't know, but I mean, the, mess, t- 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 mess, some of them are quaint and and very nostalgic. Uh, there's uh, in, in North Grand Circle, which is up by Grand and I-70. Both of these are gone now, but uh, there had been one for. Uh, a corset, you know, WB corsets, which I thought was really mm. pretty neat. Pretty risque. And, 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 and a lot of these old ads, you can, you, especially now with the Internet, you could do research on them and find out all about the company. And WB corset was Wine, Wine Garten Brothers. And oh. so he, he wasn't uh, Me- Mephistopheles. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, William Stage, our guest. The book is called Fading Ads of St. Louis. I, before I, I I let you go, I love the fact that you put in probably the most famous sign on the side of a building, which has all gone all the way to the Supreme Court, right. which was the end eminent domain abuse with a line through it, which in actually means he's in favor of eminent domain abuse. But it's a triple <laughs> yeah, negative. Yeah, I, I know. I know what you mean. He. <laughs> He made a mistake there, but it, it does get a lot of attention. And by the way, that's the only one in the book that doesn't really advertise anything. Uh, but but this, people should know that the city took this to the Supreme Court. Oh, yeah, and I mentioned that. Yeah, and the Supreme Court ruled that this guy has every right to paint this on the, the side of his building. You're right, and the question was, is, is it free speech, is it art, or is it a, a commercial sign? Right, yeah, it's really interesting. All right, good. Uh, uh, William, where can we get the books? 
uh, the, I've got two signings coming up. I've got one tomorrow night at Subterranean Books in the Del Mar Loop, and that would be from 6 to 7 p.m. And there's also a, a modest photo exhibit of the pictures in the book that are um, that are in the Subterranean Book Gallery there. And then a week from Friday on the 15th of November, there'll be a fundraiser for the book house. They, they, they want to move and reopen on Manchester uh, more in Maplewood. And that will be at Schlafly Bottle Works starting at 8 o'clock. And that's not just me. It's a whole bunch of local authors. All right. So no, November 15th, Schlafly Bottle Works. Right. You'll be there early to make sure you're there for that one. <laughs> I need to get a little bit, <laughs> little bit <laughs> le, le, juiced up. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Subterranean Books uh, tomorrow night from 6 to 7. Correct. You got it. The book yeah. is called Fading Ads of St. Louis. William Stage, good to see you, my friend. Be safe. Um, and uh, good luck with the book. Thanks a lot. You got it.